What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 8 Beta 4 has just been released. So of course I wanted to go ahead and walk you through all the updates and changes that have taken place in this new beta update. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about and the first thing you'll probably notice is that there's no longer a bug reporting app once you update to beta 4. And that's really not that big of an issue and it's something that we knew was inevitable. We knew it was going to be removed because that's definitely not going to make it to the final iOS 8. And that's just because everybody would be reporting bugs if you know their email didn't refresh and come to find out they weren't connected to data or Wi-Fi or something like that. So of course we knew this was coming, but definitely expect it if you do upgrade to iOS 8 Beta 4. Next, if we open up our settings, you're gonna see a brand new settings panel right here called Display and Brightness. So if we open that up, you can see that we have our brightness slider that we can manipulate right there. We also have auto brightness if you wanna to toggle that on. And then we have text size. So that's taken from that other settings panel and put right here as well as bolding the text. You can do so just by restarting your phone if you wanna do that. Of course, we don't wanna do that for this video because everybody knows what bold text does. But yeah, there's a new settings panel that allows you to easily access these toggles and controls right here. Also another little change right here, if we go into our settings, tap on privacy, we have a new icon for home data. Now a really big change that they've made is the new control center. As you can see right here, it's a completely different look. It has some transparency to it, and you can see that there's no longer separators, but more just a Gaussian blur over specific portions. So this section for the toggles, it's a little bit lighter. And then right here for just the slider, it's a little bit darker. Again, alternating between that light, dark, and light right here. So in my opinion, it actually looks not that bad, and I like it better than having those line separators. I always remove those with you know jailbreak tweaks. And you can also see the options or the toggles right here that you have the white background if those toggles are enabled. And I actually think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Another big change that we have is the new tips app. So you can see right here that we have a brand new tips app. It's a stock application, so you can't delete it just like any of the other stock applications. But you can open this up and basically what it's going to do is tell you how to use certain features in iOS 8. So you can see as you swipe through, it gives you basically just an image and then a little excerpt right here telling you how to use that certain feature. So this is probably going to be helpful for newer users. Uh, usually the people watching my type of videos know how to do most of these features, but then again, you might always be able to learn something from these little tips. Now you also see if we swipe all the way over to the left, you can check back for new tips every week. So I assume that they're going to plan on updating or adding a tip every single week. So that's something that newer users can look forward to. Now if we jump into our settings again, let's swipe over here and we're gonna scroll down, actually let's go back one more and we're gonna scroll down here to messages. So if we go ahead and scroll down right here, you're gonna see that we have some more options for our audio messages as well as our video messages. So you can set these when you want them to expire. So you have two options, one either after two minutes or never. So you have that option for both of these. So for our video messages, again, we have a two minute expiration or a never expiration. Also for European users, if you tap right here on cellular, you're actually going to get a brand new option to enable the EU internet. Now this is only going to apply to the internet and personal hotspot data traffic, and obviously only going to apply to European customers. Another small change that they've made in the keyboard, you can see right here that we actually have a brand new little emoji smiley face that you can see right there. So now the mouth is kind of open more than it was in the last uh, previous beta. It was just a smiley face, but now we have a mouth open smiley face. So not a huge change, of course, but still a change. Now, if we go back to the settings again, Let's go ahead and open that back up and we're gonna back up to mail contacts and calendars. So if we open this up and we start to scroll down here, you're gonna see that we have a new option and it's actually this one right here, show in app switcher. So if you guys don't know or you haven't seen it before, you can actually see your recent contacts right up here. You can also list your favorites if you wanna do that. But right here, if we open this up, you can turn that off for the phone favorites as well as the recents right there. So now when we open up our app switcher, they're completely gone. So it's nice to have that option if you're not a big fan of having those right there in the app switcher. Also in this settings panel, if we go back and then we scroll up just a little bit, you can see that we have swipe options. So you can change what that swipe option or what that gesture does. So swiping to the left, what do you want that to do within your mail? You can see right here that we can select, you can do 
mark as red, we can flag it or do nothing. Now, of course, we have that set up right here for mark as red if we swipe to the right. So that's checked right there, but you can switch that up right here if you change it. So you can just tap on none and then we'll go over here to flag. We'll change this to mark as red and switch this to flag. So basically we just swap those two actions. Now they're not going to obviously allow you to do the exact same thing for both gestures. As you can see right here, I can't change the swipe right to a mark as red. So you have to actually turn that off and then change it. Also in the settings, if we go back just a little bit more, you can see right down here, we actually have a new handoff feature right here in general. And then we can scroll down here to handoff and suggested apps. So if we tap on this, this usually just used to be a handoff toggle. So now we have actual settings panel. And right up here, you can turn on or off handoff. And then right below here, you can actually turn on suggested apps for my apps, as well as the app store using your current location and push those directly to the lock screen. Now another large update that we got with the beta 4 is new live typing. So you can see right here if we open up our messages and let's say we were going to type something out using the talk to text feature. So if we tap on that and then I continue talking, it's going to update everything that I'm saying live right there as you're saying it. So this is a whole lot better in my opinion than having to wait until you're done talking and then you know tapping this little voice wave or tapping done and then letting it load everything that you said. And this thing actually does a pretty good job of dictating every single thing that you said. So we're gonna go ahead and tap done. And that's pretty much everything that I've found in the new iOS 8 beta 4. If there's anything that I missed, make sure to let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.